Hello everyone, Paul Felix here with the Leapfrog BI Quick Tip. One of the first things you're going to need to do when you start using Leapfrog BI is to create a project. A project is simply a container of work. It may contain an entire data mart or it might contain an in, a portion of your target data model that applies to a particular line of business or a business process. How you segment your work is up to you, but you will need a project before you begin development. So let's create a project now. Okay, the first thing I need to do is log in. So I navigate to leapfrogbi.com. I'm going to click on the project menu item and log in. That's going to present you with a project list. I want to create a new project, so I'm going to click the new button. Give the project a name. And set the target environment. I'm going to select SQL Server 2012 since I'm deploying to SQL Server 2012. Click Create and I will see my new project in the project list. If I want to begin working in that project, I need to make it my current project, the current project I'm working on. So I'm going to select that project and click Set Current. I can now see that my title has the name of my project I'm working on and any development I do will be done in this project now. That's all there is to it. Now there's other settings you can make at the project level, level that are important, such as defining your, your uh, life cycles within the project, how you're going to migrate between, say, dev, test, QA, and prod, setting up permissions and naming standards and such. We're going to touch on those in future quick tips. For now, you're ready to get started. Go create a project and start taking advantage of agile data warehousing.